So I'm here at TaskRabbit headquarters with TaskRabbit founder, Leah Busk, and new TaskRabbit CEO, uh, Eric Grossa. So what's up, guys? Let's go. <laughs> Good. Thanks for visiting us here. Uh, it's Eric's first day. And before this, you were at you were doing your own thing for about a year, and then you were at uh, Hotwire. So, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, why you decided that this role would be a good step for you and for the company? Sure, sure. Well, I've been part of consumer e-commerce now for the better part of 15 years. Um, back in 1999, I helped start with three other folks so that this kind of online travel company that became Hotwire. Uh, I was the one spam founder that stayed through the ISC slash Expedia acquisition and uh, ran, the, ran the business as president uh, for the last uh, three or four years until 2008. And then at the end of 2008, right when sort of the broader macroeconomic uh, meltdown was occurring, I stepped in to, uh, to run a newly created position at Expedia as president of Expedia Worldwide, which I did until the end of last year. Um, and as you mentioned, I've, uh, uh, for the first time since I got out of college, I guess now about 20 years, um, I've taken some time off, and recharged the batteries, and uh, thought about what to do next. And that thought has led me to, uh, to TaskRabbit, and I'm tremendously excited about it. Uh, much like, much like travel, um, you know, helped uh, turbocharge e-commerce back in the early days, uh, in the late '90s and early 2000s. I really think that uh, what TaskRabbit is up to here, and the broader concept of, uh, of collaborative consumption, um, is going to be a very, very big part of how this next decade um, unfolds for for. Uh, consumers and, uh, and uh, what, what can be accomplished online. So uh, Ron Conway used the words collaborative consumption on stage at TechCrunch Disrupt. Uh, for the readers that don't know what that is, what is that? <laughs> so, so collaborative consumption is really a movement. Uh, we're seeing this groundswell form and all these really cool companies start businesses around the premise of people sharing things. So it's about access versus ownership. It's about being able to share cars in a neighborhood rather than own your own. Or, uh, you know, there's another company, ThreadUp, that's swapping clothing instead of, and especially for kids, which grow really fast, instead of owning a lot of kids' clothes. And TaskRabbit uh, fits into this collaborative consumption movement with our form of sharing, which we're calling service networking. And it's about empowering people to share their free time, their special skills, and their services with others in their neighborhood. And to me what's so exciting is that this is a trend where it makes so much people, so much sense for people no matter what side of the equation that they're on. So in our case, um, if you are a task rabbit, um, you know, uh, on the supply side of the equation, there's a tremendous opportunity to, uh, to earn income and live life much more on your, on your own terms, mm -hmm. which is something that's, uh, that's really, I think, exciting and engaging and has, has generated a real groundswell, if you will, of interest and passion amongst our, our early adopter uh, task rabbits. On the other side, you know, there's millions of folks out there, whether it's professionals or busy families or companies, that, that are just massively overextended and need help. And TaskRabbit, I think, is an incredible service and brand that can help, uh, help people live their lives better and more productively and help them uh, do more of what they want to do and, and less of what they don't. So you talk about wanting it to be a mass market brand. Do you really think uh, mass market or the mass consumer or the average consumer will uh, be okay with having some stranger come in and uh, complete tasks or come into their house and clean or, or whatever sun-dry thing needs to happen? I mean, do you think that uh, your, your average American will be cool with, you know, the task rabbit model? I know in urban environments it does really well, but sure. you really need... Well, you mentioned it does really well in urban environments, and that's the one thing that made me so I'm intrigued by this, this concept is is uh, I personally think that this is the wave of the future and more and more people are going to be comfortable under the right circumstances of working with folks in their communities to, to, uh, to improve their lives. Um, but what I, what I take more credit in is what folks are actually saying in the marketplace today. So the net promoter scores, the NPS scores that, that TaskRabbit is getting from its user base is, is off the charts. Um, I think 75 or 80, um, whereas at you know, Hotwire and Expedia, we were jumping up and down if we saw numbers half of that. So, so there's there's no doubt that that uh, that this type of service is 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 uh, providing incredible value um, and, uh, and passion amongst its user base, 
and I think when, when more and more people um, understand sort of the potential of what TaskRabbit can be used for, it will be uh, increasingly popular as a, as a, as a go-to service for, for, for busy folks. Um, are, there, are there issues? Are there potential gotchas? Absolutely, but the beautiful thing about what we're up to here is that we can you know, be more and more proactive about whether it's through security, whether it's through um, background checks that, that TaskRabbit already does, whether it's about reviews on the site, um, feedback, there's lots of ways um, you can um, uh, engage in a service like TaskRabbit to, to really, to really uh, gain incredible confidence about who you're going to be working with, much like uh, eBay you know, took, a, a, took a novel approach uh, at the time for, for creating trust between buyers and sellers that, uh, that didn't, didn't otherwise know each other. We think we, think, we, think we can do the same thing for, for labor marketplaces. Uh, you mentioned investor interests earlier. Are you guys raising another round? Well, you know, it's day one. Yeah. You, you, mentioned, you, mentioned, you mentioned the casting for the first day. Um, but one of the things I can say is, is uh, I'm coming into this position with an incredible amount of uh, um, excitement around what TaskRabbit can become. Um, you know, with that, uh, with that excitement comes investment and comes resources. So, and uh, I think it's fair to say that um, that both of us have received a fair amount of interest yes. um, over the last uh, couple of weeks as my um, as I as I start to come on board. And uh, you know, the timing may be right to take down some additional capital. From which, uh, from which VC firms, and at, at what, uh, what amount, and what valuation? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a good try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but as I mentioned, yeah. it's, it's just day one. It and is we're day just, one. We're just getting started, and, and we're we're just um, uh, making those introductions and exploring those opportunities uh, over the next several weeks. So, Leah, you used to be CEO, right? Yes. I did use VCO as of yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So why why step down? Yeah. So um, this is something I've been thinking about, reflecting on for many many months. Um, you know, going back to when we raised our Series A round of financing, I talked to uh, the guys at Shasta Ventures, and I said, you know what? We've got a ton of momentum. We're opening new markets. We're scaling the team. We're growing so fast. I think now is the time to start thinking about bringing in some executive leadership and. You know, I wasn't really set on a specific role or title to fill, um, but I just really wanted to find the right person to join the team. And so we kicked off an executive search um, about five months ago. We've really taken our time with it. And um, really, the, the solve we were trying to make is to allow me to shift my focus back to product and engineering, which is sort of where I'm from. That's kind of my wheelhouse. I spent seven years as a software engineer at IBM before I started TaskRabbit and bring in someone who could complement my skill sets and really focus on the business and scaling and operations and marketing and, and all of that fun stuff. So um, when I met Eric, uh, I, I literally knew he was the perfect person for the role. I remember emailing a recruiter that day right after we left and saying, I think this is the guy. And so it came down to final candidates and that, you know, there was a COO involved, there was a couple CEO candidates, and um, I just knew that Eric was the right person for the role, he was the right person to join the team, and I would never, uh, you know, make a decision for this company solely based on me or, or any sort of ego involved, and I just really wanted to get the right person involved, and so that's why Eric's here tonight. So you guys are now have uh, TaskRabbit services available in San Francisco, in LA, in Boston, in New York, and you just opened Chicago. What are your future plans in terms of uh, expansion and of product strategy? Sure, sure. Well, I think you nailed two of them. Um, and you know, by and large, I think there's four things that, that we're going to be focusing on in the, in the, in the days and, and months ahead. Um, I think there is an unbelievable opportunity to, to uh, uh, think more creatively around the product itself and how we can uh, how we can become how we can make TaskRabbit even more of a, of a rabbit habit. Yes. Um, so 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 we become a, a default go-to resource for, for, for busy people um, in the core markets that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. I really think that we're at the proverbial tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. about what we can do to, to be even more instrumental for in terms of helping people. So there's a product story here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the interesting things is that we've, we've been um, uh, fortunate enough uh, through Leah's efforts to to to, uh, to really bring uh, to you know, a lot of a lot of uh, consumer interest has been has been generated, and, and we're we're as a result there's been a lot of incoming requests around uh, what markets should we go to next yeah, and how. That's true. So that is something that we definitely are going to be tackling. But I think it's fair to say that will be an important part of our growth strategy is how to think about expanding sort of our marketplaces into other. Um, uh, high potential markets uh, in the U.S. and then down the road mm -hmm. um, internationally. 
Um, you know, a third piece that, that we're going to be focusing on a lot is the TaskRabbit. In many ways, the TaskRabbit is the engine that makes this whole business hum. It's the TaskRabbit that in many ways is responsible for the high, uh, high MPS scores that, that, that we've been fortunate enough to receive. So that doesn't happen, you know, um, that doesn't happen uh, easily. You know, that is something that uh, Leah and the team have done a tremendous amount to ensure that the onboarding process and the training process of what makes a TaskRabbit a TaskRabbit really continues. So as scale, you know, we can't assume that that is something also that we can just um, we can just uh, assume magically happens, right? So, so we're going to be putting some good time and investment um, towards creating a whole new group that will be responsible for making those task rabbits scale as we scale. Yeah, right? absolutely. Uh, so you're going to have a task rabbit group? What is that? Uh, like yeah, we, like you mentioned this day one, so we haven't figured out the right <laughs> yeah, right. for it. Um, mm, yeah. But, but uh, you know, I come from a world um, because essentially we're talking about supply here. I come from, from companies that have entire divisions, entire groups, focusing nothing more on making suppliers happy. You know, airlines, hotels, and home cars, and, and, and uh, TaskRabbit is basically a new type of engine that drives this service, and we're going to make sure we invest in it properly. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, yeah. guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you.